Hi guys, it's ASBYT and this is the Mobboy TickWatch Pro 3 and it might still just about be the best Android smartwatch that you can get in 2021 for reasons we'll get to. Objectively, specs and features wise, it's hard to look past it, but subjectively, design, fit, size, etc, it may not be. So let's cover everything. Full disclaimer, this video was sponsored by Mobvoi, so it's not technically a review as such, but I will be showcasing all of the features and attributes, and I'll still be talking as always about things that I like and things that I think personally could be improved. So if you have an iPhone and you want to get the most complete experience from a smartwatch, you get uh, an Apple Watch. It's fairly simple. But if you have an Android phone, for example, then to get the most complete experience from a smartwatch, many people believe that you have to get uh, one like the TickWatch Pro 3 here, one that runs with Google's Wear OS. Now, Google's wearable software is not perfect. And in fact, I feel at times it seems to be a bit of an afterthought compared to a lot of other of their projects. But it still does a lot right, including the ability on the TickWatch Pro 3 to have 24-hour heart monitoring, 24-hour SpO2, and sleep tracking like other flagship smartwatches. Notifications with a swipe up from the bottom can be opened on your phone or responded to from the watch with basic replies, customized text, emojis, or using your voice. Yes, it's not quite as user-friendly as responding on your smartphone, but it is still a nice option to have if your phone's out of reach, for example. And remember, there are still a lot of smartwatches out there, offerings from the likes of OnePlus and Huawei, where this feature is still very limited. Quick menu with a swipe down, and options such as weather, heart rate, calendar, step count, that can be customized for your left and right swipes. Now on the TickWatch Pro 3, you have two buttons on the right-hand side, both with two main options. The top button gives you access to all of your apps, including a host of Mob Voice own apps like Tick Health, Tick Pulse, Tick Sleep, Tick Oxygen, and more. A lot of ticks. Not those kind. That would be not great to have coming out of your watch. <laughs> and you can also add a variety of additional apps to the watch, including watch face ones, etc., via the Google Play Store that comes pre installed. And a press and hold gives you your voice assistant. What's the weather going to be like in London today? It'll be partly cloudy there today, with a forecast high of 13 and a low of 2. Right now it's 9 degrees and partly cloudy. Cloudy as usual in the UK. At least it's not raining. Now the bottom button is currently set by default to show your workout modes, while a press and hold gives you features such as SOS, restart and shutdown, and an essential mode for better battery life. More on that in a second. But speaking of battery, this might potentially be one of the downsides of Google's Wear OS. It is a very smooth, fluid and feature-rich software, but it's also quite taxing on the system's hardware and so requires fairly hefty watch internals, which Mobvoi's watch provides in the form of the Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 4100 chip. Battery life on Google's Wear OS devices generally is fairly limited compared to some of the lower powered devices that are on the market. But thankfully, while not amazing for battery life, the TickWatch Pro 3 is one of the standout performers within Wear OS options, depending on how you use it. If you're quite basic with it, checking a few notifications, turning off features like tilt to wake, and using a lot of the time the low powered digital always on display, you can get up to around three days of use from a single charge, which is pretty decent for this software. Obviously, if you're constantly using exercise modes, the blood oxygen saturation level monitor and pulse checker, etc., then your battery life is more going to be like one to two days. The previously mentioned essential mode, which you can manually turn on or have it set to auto when the battery is really low basically turns off everything but the basic screen allowing the battery to last for something like 40 days which is absolutely brilliant in an emergency now the charger is a little bit fiddly if i'm being honest i would prefer maybe a disc that you just a puck that you just pop it on but it snaps in fairly well magnetic wise magnetic wise that's not even a phrase what am i talking about you know what i mean <laughs> hey yeah uh it does the job, but obviously it rests a bit unconventional on a desk, for example. I'm, I'm, I'm splitting hairs here, but something to know. Now, I mentioned the really helpful low power digital always on display feature, and this is possible as the watch's 1.4 inch face has a special two layer setup. The digital layer is LCD and underneath is a second AMOLED panel. It's bright enough, it's sharp enough, and I personally quite like the size of it. But there is only one size, so 
that will be personal preference for you. Some may say it's too big or too small if you've got giganterists. <laughs> Elsewhere, aesthetics wise, it's kind of split in the middle. Its design is neither one thing nor the other. It's half smart, dress up smart, not smart as in smartwatch, and half active wear. It has a really clever leather look strap of silicon construction, making it easy to clean whilst keeping it looking new. Of course, you can add your own strap to suit your own mood. If you are looking to be active and want to track your progress, by default under Tixercise, there are tons of different modes, including running, cycling, and swimming, just to name a few. And as a result, you have an IP68 rating. GPS and all of your activities can be monitored through the Wear OS app or on your Mobvoi account on your smartphone. Mobvoi's app offers really in-depth health and fitness information, but again, if you just want to use everything Google, you have Google Fit as well. You have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, so you can pair the watch to headphones, etc. And you can use your compatible music streaming services. You also have a microphone and speaker for calls, and you can directly actually call people straight from the watch. You don't have to just receive or reject. And the quality, as you heard earlier from the Google voice assistant demo is pretty loud and clear, if a, a little bit tinny. All in all, the TickWatch Pro 3 won't be for everyone due to its premiumly priced $289.99 price tag, but if you like the design and you like Google's Wear OS, there really isn't many, if any, better currently right now for you. There is also a more expensive $329.99 version, which is one of the only few that offers uh, the eSIM function. So that is another option for you. Let me know what you think of the TickWatch Pro 3 in the comment section below. Do you like Google's Wear OS? Do you like smartwatches in general? Are you an Android user or do you use an iPhone, for example? Let me know and let me know whether you do indeed want or use a smartwatch watch like and share if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful thanks again to mobboy for sponsoring today's video subscribe if you're new to the channel and love everything tech i'll love you and leave you i'll see you in the next one peace out